I think if you ask me, you know, the giving you a broad survey of what the industry CEOs are seeing the environment in gives you a little more color than just a number. And I think the color that you get is there's a pretty even split between this year being as good as last or better than last. I think if you if those are the two alternatives, I think they are both good outcomes. Uh, from my perspective, there's too much uncertainty in a few items hmm. that causes you to re really you know sit back and rethink. Uh, you know how the environment will shape up. You know, there's a lot of uh, political uncertainty in many locations. There is a lot of uh, uh, nationalism or wave of nationalism that is yeah, causing some of productionism. And finally, I think there is also this unknown Brexit issue and what shock that gives to Europe, which is the second largest market for all uh, you know the industry. So I think there are multiple issues that uh, you know you're not very sure of. But I tell you, the backdrop is that. Tech spending is not going away. Yeah, which is budgets what are budgets are strong. Uh, you know, every business is a technology business. So that uh, you know that overall backdrop of the industry is fairly bullish. Got it. You know, one would ask the uh, the IT companies industry has weathered through stormy waters, uncertainty. What is it so bad right now? Is it a lot of this coming happening at the same time? The fact that Brexit after uh, no clarity, now we would really see it. You know, what really is it? Because over the last year, also protectionism measures were something we have been discussing. The uncertainty around it. Yeah, I think there's no one thing. Uh, it's really a question of you know we had a pretty good year last mm. year. Uh, two years ago, everybody had written off growth. Mm. Uh, if you look at the industry, we are still growing two and a half times the global IT growth, which means we are still gaining market share, for, uh, you know, at the cost of somebody else, some other providers, typically global providers. I think from that perspective, uh, keep, also keep in mind there's a lot of work in progress even on the digital side. Mm. So there's a lot of migration of spend from traditional to digital. So from that perspective, we are a work in progress. Digital is growing at 30%. Traditional is growing much lower, if at all. So I think there is, you know, with that backdrop, I think even if we assume that this year is going to be as good as last year, you know, we're still talking high single-digit growth, which I think I'll take any day. Got it. Uh, away from all the negative negativity, let's talk about the positives. Uh, you know, IT spends, something you uh, alluded to initially, are looking good. It's not like, you know, clients are not, are not opening their purse strings. Uh, Talent-wise, also hiring is likely to be similar to what it was last year. So, net by net, it seems like there is demand. There's that latent demand that you're trying to really fulfill. Uh, and in terms of hiring, also be similar at emphasis from what we will really see. I think the paradigm is slightly shifted. It's not just about hiring or a number of hiring. It's about hiring the right skills in the right market at the right price point with the right profitability. So I think there is, that balancing act is not easy to do. Uh, you know, from our perspective, uh, I think the the ability to create the competency, the ability to bring solutions together, deploy IP, uh, upskill people, all of the levers are being applied. So from our perspective, I think that's the way we're going and building our business. As long as we see robust demand, uh, hiring will obviously be, f be following. But I think there is a certain degree of non-linearity, at least that we're trying to drive in the business. Thank you so much, Nathan, for